We just don't want it in our backyard. We don't want it so close to homes, so close to schools. We don't want the congestion, the traffic. We don't want a helicopter flying above us. Homeowners in Elk Grove outraged over the planned expansion of a medical school and nearby businesses. They're worried they may be forced to shut down. California North State University wants to add a brand new hospital. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is live in Elk Grove with more on the plans and the pushback tonight. Macy? Well, Sharon and Tony, let me give you some perspective. It's the people in these homes behind me that will be upset about this new expansion. This medical center would be expanded and it would encompass this entire area, including all of that shopping center you see right in front of you. They're like, I don't want my 10 year old son playing in the backyard and having a dormitory sitting right behind us. But businesses and homeowners alike fear that could be their new reality. Traffic, noise, congestion, it is going to change the entire landscape of this side of the city. Tucked away between Elk Grove Boulevard and I-5 is California North State University, or CNU, a small medical school with a few hundred students. But plans to expand would mean adding new parking structures, dormitories, and a new hospital. The city says the 10-story hospital would bring 1,400 jobs to Elk Grove. But Melinda Robinson says the cost to her neighborhood is is too great. We have a church, we have India Kitchen, we have a liquor store. Altogether, she says 15 businesses would have to close their doors, but the city says it's more like six or seven businesses. And we were finally able to open in October of 2017. And this is the final product? Yes. One of them, Dreaming Dog Brewery. We're the very first ones that'll have to leave. David Brown says the company who owns California North State University also owns several buildings in the shopping center, which puts his lease in limbo. They want us to be successful so that we'll continue paying rent until they're ready to build their building. I talked to council member Darren soon. I mean, we're not here to take a side one way or the other. But he does plan to bring both sides to the table to talk. I want to see the businesses stay or at least be able to be relocated. CNU president Alvin Chung told city leaders he's working with businesses. To work with each and every business tenant immediately impacted uh, by the project and we are meeting with them almost daily since our announcement. But since CNU's expansion news on December 20th, Brown says he only got one call from a university attorney. So I have no idea what their plan is at this point in time. Now, the city says it's going to take at least a year for that environmental uh, impact report to be finished, and they have a lot of talking to the community. Now, Soon says, Councilmember Soon says he plans to hold a community meeting on February 22nd. We reached out to CNU, and they declined to comment at this time.